On November 21st, 2014, at the Washkie County Museum and Cultural Center is the event, the Mammoth Quick Draw. 25 or 30 artists will come and for an hour we're going to produce some sort of artwork and today I'm going to practice. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and I'll put that up on our Facebook channel and try to advertise that locally but this is our project and I'll show you what I'm going to do right here. Now at the Quick Draw I'm going to be duplicating this particular little project and it's something you can do and it's a nice way to display a finial there's my finial and at demonstrations I sometimes pass these around and it's just a nice way to do that this is simply an insert for a weed pot you can fill that with water and I'm just uh, kind of repurposing that and I'll show you another one this is a piece that's inside of an acrylic rod so that's what I'm going to be doing at the quick draw on the 21st of November and I'm going to do one right now now in this next segment I've got the film speeded up a bit and I'm first of all establishing a tenon for my pin jaws and then I'm going to do just a bit of rough turning with my spindle roughing gouge and get this down to where I can work it with the spindle gouge. Now I've got my glass tube here and I'm going to mark the length of my finial right here. And back here I'm going to leave a little bit of thickness. And this end will be wedged into my glass tube and I'll show you that later on. And right now I'm just parting this off. I'm using a thin parting tool and at the very end of this I'm going to back my tail center off. I don't like to have that connection because uh, it can get wedged in there. So I just part that off and we'll continue turning this finial. Now what I've got in here is my multi-star live center. That's very nice and ideal for finials so I'm going to just about get that to the point. Now I'm going to turn this on. I think that's maybe the best way to establish that center point while the lathe is spinning. Now I've got the length of my blank established and I'm going to leave my tail center up as long as I can. And I'm going to start turning from this end and go in the direction of my headstock. Now I'll be using uh, some different tools. I like the size of a spindle roughing gouge. I got this from Packard and um, you know, you'll just see how I do this. I'm going to just develop kind of a taper along here. Now what I'm trying to mainly accomplish here is to simply thin this down with the tail center still in place and this will allow me to turn with a spindle gouge a little bit and uh, do my finial with the tail stock removed. Now I'm starting to profile the very end of my finial with the spindle gouge and I'm just uh, working on the very end of it and I'm establishing a little bit of a sphere shape and I've still got the tailstock there for support and in a bit I will remove that and I'll probably have to back that up with my hand to prevent a catch or any vibration so here I am just taking a little bit more wood off with a spindle roughing gouge and now I'm doing a, just a little bit of actually scraping with my detail gouge. And it really helps to have the tail center up at this point. I can take a little heavier cut. And because of the shavings, you really can't see that very well. So here I am back at the very end, doing a little bit more fine profiling on this. And in a second, I'll cut through this and I won't be able to use my tailstock anymore. I'm going to continue to take off a little bit more wood at the very end of the finial. And now I continue to shape the very top of the finial and now I'm going to part through this, develop a bit of a point, and there it is. You probably noticed that this broke off as I developed that little point. So I'm going to back off my 
tailstock because I can't use it anymore. I'm going to do a little bit of sanding and I can do a little bit of profiling with some sandpaper. And then back here I've got a little bit of mass and I can keep working back to my headstock. Now I've got my finial finished, sanded in a little bit of friction polish up to this point, so I'm going to continue back to the headstock. Now with my detail gouge, I am just removing a little bit of this mass closer to my headstock, and you kind of get the idea working from the very tip of the finial backward toward the headstock where there's a little bit more thickness in the wood and this adds a little bit more stability and I can take heavier cuts and I've got something in mind for the shape of this and I just keep working on that and uh, I'll end up back near the headstock now I'm to a point where I need to mark very precisely the length of my finial going into my glass tube. So I'm, I'm in really good shape, I think. At this point right here, I'm still a little bit thick and I can make a bit of a taper right here going back into my glass tube. And I'm right at the end of that, which is okay as long as I don't go too far. All right, now with a little bit of fine tuning off camera, I've got my glass tube in place and what I've done, I've got an O-ring right here and I've got just a little bit of a groove right here. And that O-ring sits in there and makes a nice connection. And that'll sit in there like that. I can probably glue that in or something. So now I just need to finish the rest of my finial right there. Now the tool I'm using right now is a spindle gouge, probably a 3 8 inch gouge, and I repurposed it. There's not a lot of flute left on it, maybe an inch and a half or so, and I've got a very sharp angle ground on this to make a detail gouge. And now I've gone to an even smaller detail gouge to complete my finial. I'm just working right up to that O-ring area. Doing some final shaping, and that's a good shot. A little bit of scraping, and yeah, it's really more of a cut than a scrape. And that allows me to do a little bit of fine tuning on uh, the spindle and get rid of some of those grooves I've created with the tool. All right, just a little bit of sanding off camera, and I'll put some finish on my finial and show you the final results. And I'm going to apply a little bit of Renaissance wax on there and I'll be finished. And there we have it. I just need to part the end of that off and uh, we'll have a finial inside of a glass tube. Thank you very much and I hope you can make the quick draw next Friday, November 21st. See you there.